I'm in Colorado. I drove 14 hours all night long on no sleep to come to Colorado to see Andrew. But I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to see him. The night has taken a strange turn and I am stranded at the Circle K with a flat tire at three o'clock in the morning. But guess who came to help me? Thank you, Andrew. That's the hole that uh, got taken out of the tire. I want his comfort, so I'm gonna take it and head back to Arkansas. Um, yes, Andrew's coming back to Arkansas with me. I guess I just gave that away. So um, I will talk to you guys more about that in the next vlog. I'm sorry that I ghosted you. It's just, I was very overwhelmed and Hey, my life is over part three. <laughs> and I kicked Andrew out yesterday. I packed up all of his shit. I threw it out. And I told him to get the fuck out. And he did. Because... I don't even know if I can say it. <sighs> okay, so I... Yeah, now I'm starting over again. Um, He's got somebody else. He's got somebody else who is younger than me. She's in her 20s. <laughs> She's fucking 20s. So I remember everybody saying, um, or a lot of people were saying he must have someone else when he first left me. He did. And I did not believe it at all. I didn't want to believe it. And he's been going back and forth between us <laughs> this whole time. And I just... When I found out, like, that he said he loved her, I just couldn't take it. I couldn't take it. I think that he's a pathological liar, and I don't know how I didn't realize that for 15 years. Did the other woman know that he was going between the two of you? Yeah, he did. He knew. She knew, she knew everything. She knew everything. She knew he was married. She knew all of it. And I called her. And then I was like... I don't know what the hell she's on. I don't know. I was like, um, no, you're not, because I'm the one married to him. And I was like, I need to talk to him about the divorce. But anyway, I was like, he's been fucking me the whole time that he's been with you. People are saying you slashed your own tire. Oh my God. I hit a curb, which I didn't want to say because I knew people were going to be like, you're out there driving at 3 a.m. You want it? Okay. Did I tell you guys what really happened? He was trying to leave her, okay? It was three o'clock in the morning. All right, here's what happened. I'm gonna tell you the truth because it doesn't fucking matter now. This is why I was out driving at three o'clock in the morning. He got off work. So this, so this day, he had to go to work one more day when I was in Colorado and then he was gonna leave with, he was gonna come back to the hotel with me and he was gonna leave with me the next day. That's what we did. But he, when he got off work, she was waiting outside his work for him and freaked out and started following him around. And I was like, I'm coming over there. I'm coming, I'm coming up there. So I left the hotel at like two o'clock in the morning and started going to try to find this bullshit. And I was exhausted and this was a very stupid thing to do. Okay, you don't have to chastise me, I know. But I, I had been sleeping for a couple hours so I did have some rest. And I hit a curb and it busted out my tire. And then I was stuck at the Circle K, and then Andrew had to come and fix the tire after he finally lost her. Yeah, that's what happened. And I was trying to protect him, and I was trying not to, like, humiliate myself. That's what happened, though. I got, I got more. I got more. I got more tea. I'm just gonna spill it out. I'm just gonna spill it out a little drop at a time. She's pregnant. And she's not just pregnant. She's due in three weeks. <laughs> He's known the whole time. He's known since November. The whole time. <laughs> that he's been going back and forth between us, he's known. So the day after I kicked him out and he left, um, when he was on his way back to Colorado and he sent me that message telling me never to contact him again, 
Um, it, he also told me some other things. <sighs> so four months after we lost August, he impregnated this woman. Four months after our baby <laughs> died. <laughs> I'll just tell you what he said about this specific thing. It's so hard for me to read this message. He said, I'm sorry, but I want to be there for my second son full time. It's a boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a boy. By the way, in November, we were actively trying to have a baby. In November, December, January, he knew. He knew. She was pregnant while we were actively trying to have a baby, by the way. <sighs> what the fuck was he gonna do if I got pregnant too? He's not August, and he never will be. I wouldn't want him to be, but I have to give him the best life I can. I'm sorry, but I love her as well. I love both you and her, and I can't live like this anymore. And now I have to live in a world where the man I love <laughs> is having the child that I desperately wanted with another woman. Yeah, he left me in January for her. The first time he left me, it was for her. Mm -hmm. Every time he left me, it was for her. Even though, and he never told, like, I didn't even know they were a thing until, like, two weeks ago. I didn't even know he had a, he had this relationship until I went to Arkansas this last time, a couple weeks ago. Then he stayed here with me for two weeks. Didn't tell me. We talked about how we could fix our marriage. We talked about how we could possibly stay together after his cheating. We made plans. and But then when I found out he told her he loved her, I kicked him out. Even though I kicked him out, I still like secretly wanted him to come back. But he didn't. And he went to Colorado. And then he, he went in two days. The second day on Sunday, he sent me that message and told me that. Yeah, he did admit it. Yeah. I'm just utterly, completely destroyed. I mean, I don't think, I don't think anything could hurt me more than this. Oh, she knew. She's known about me the whole time. She knew he was married to me. She knew he lived with me. She knew every time he came to see me, every time he fucked me, she knew.